And as we come to the real grass field here, which is Sun Devil Stadium, home of the Arizona State University Sun Devils in Tempe, Arizona. It is also where the Arizona Cardinals will play. And in future times, maybe next year, whenever they can get it done, there will be a new stadium at Glendale. Here's your kickoff. Seavers hitting it. Maurice Hall and Chris Gamble waiting. And it goes deep into the end zone and will be third down and six. Benzel with good protection. Very good. Can't find anybody to throw to. Running out of time. Gets it away down the sideline and complete. Paris. Back goes Dorsey. Getting one block to help him out. Goes down the middle with it. The ball is caught by Johnson. Johnson is a big man at 212 pounds. And he picks up a first down at the 35-yard line. And Dorsey goes back under center. The pass is thrown to the right side. The pass is completed for the first down to Andre Johnson. He picks up another five yards to go with it. Chris Campbell, Gamble at 180 pounds. The ball is on the 49-yard line for the first time tonight. My team is on the other side of the field. Dorsey is caught behind the line of scrimmage. All the way back at the 45-yard line by Kenny Peterson. One of those big tackles we were talking about. Number 97. Busy night tonight for Chris Gamble. And good news for the Buckeyes. C. Grant is back in the ball game. Dorsey comes short to the sidelines. The ball's thrown a long way to the sidelines. It's completed to Kellen Winslow. And in the melee, Winslow will fight his way down to about the 44-yard line. Keith, that should. Want to put it up. There it goes, and it is incomplete. It is intended for the red. He's begging his case. He gets no answer. D.J. Williard Winston, a tight end in there at that blocking back position. And Dorsey going back, will set up the throw, goes down the middle with it. The pass caught by Winslow, and he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. He's a tight end and a wide receiver body, and he's got almost sprinter sp position. Andre Johnson, keep your eye on number five. Dorsey going back. Blitz up the middle, steps away from it. Ball's in the air. Pass is caught. It's touchdown. Miami, Roscoe Parrish. Okay, this is why Ken Dorsey has won 38 games out of 39 tries as a starter for the Ken. Todd Seavers for the point. It's good. Once Moscow Parish gets you on it, move up into a slot. From the 15, first down, Miami leading seven to nothing. And Penzel rolls to the right. Looking for help. Gets it off. Big downfield. Fight for position. And it is intercepted on the rebound by Sean Taylor. Chris Vance downfield under the ball. Dorsey back. Wants to go for the juggler right here. He goes to Johnson, and Johnson is up close to midfield. This is a trademark of Miami's quick strike. Out of the shotgun, Dorsey with time. Goes shopping and throws complete to the 45-yard line on the Buckeye side of the field to ethnic Sands, but that is short. 10 and 10, the ball is out at the 20, and uh, Gamble's out of there as we get Hamby back into the game. Here to play action, and Quinzel's pass is right on the hands of Michael Jenkins, and Michael Jenkins will pick up a first down for the Ohio State. Claret to the outside. Cage struck him down and get him right about the line of scrimmage as Roger McIntosh was over there to greet him. Dorsey sets to throw it and goes to the sidelines. The pass is caught by Ethnic Sands, and that will be a first down for the Hurricanes. Third and six. Pass hummed, intercepted. Buckeyes have it. That's Mike Doss. 30, 25, inside the 20, before he's pulled out of bounds by Willis Begay. Third down and five. Pass is thrown, pass is caught. It'll be a first and goal to go for the Buckeyes. Chris Vance made the catch right in front of Glenn Shark. And he couldn't root a hole. Now Stepanovich is in. Claret is your tailback. Fourth and a half a yard. The quarterback keeps it, and he's in there. Craig Prinzel went off the right side of the center behind the guard, 
and Olivier and he got just enough for the touchdown. Oh he really showed his toughness too Keith. Very pit the holder is the punter Andy Groom. And everything works and we are tied at seven. So here they come. Dorsey back has a roll. He's hit the ball rolls loose. Bean back goes down. Ohio State ball. Kenny Peterson knocked it loose. Darian Scott recovered it. And Dorsey does not sense the backside pressure. Ball was out. The arm was going forward, but he went without all the single back. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. Alex Stepanovich, the center, made it happen. We talked about just how punishing a runner he can be and how. Will kick out of Green's hole for the extra point. It's good. Short of the 32 yard line. Got it again. Going to the outside. Broke the tackle. Gets the first down. Gets up across the 40 yard line and he stepped on the chalk. Renzo deep. Down the sidelines. Gamble. It's down inside the 10 and fumble, but he is down. He's down at the six yard line. Alfonso Marshall caught him from. Renzo keeps it. Throws it to the end zone and it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his intended receiver and no chance to get it there. And Claret Claret has stolen the ball. From him. Yes, he did, Keith. Maurice Claret with the play of the game, perhaps, as Sean Taylor going down the sidelines, reminiscent of George Teague of Hartsock, and then with the ball in his right hand, exposes it to Maurice Claret right there. And in the judgment of the officials, when they hit the ground, Claret had. Easy. And there's not much there for that one as uh, Krenzel rolling around trying to get. He's kicked every one of the kickoffs into the end zone. Puts the foot under it, plenty of leg on it, and it's good. For second down and nine. After that penalty. Down the middle. Hook. Winslow. Just a bullet down the middle of the field, and Kellen Winslow. And then you add the attitude. Good package. Run it, McGay, to the outside. They put him on the chalk at the. Consider Winslow. A very big possibility here. They throw it underneath and goes to Winslow and he's going to have the first down as he gets past the 10 yard line and get. McGahey to the outside. And looking to see if he hit the chalk and he didn't. So he just simply outran him into the corner. So close to getting to the sidelines and goes for Ohio State stopping him. And the kick is good by Todd Seavers. And should hit it around the 13. He does. He gets some air under it. It's not his longest of the night, but it's a good one. And it's going to go dead on the sidelines and roll out of bounds. And it turns out to be a very. And if you turn that field and you've got some space, take advantage of it. Second down and two. They run for it and they get it with McGahee. And they had to coat to him because he was close to getting out of the pack. He died. Shotgun. Dorsey a lot of time. Pass thrown in the middle. Pass is caught by Winslow. He's past the marker. First down. My Dorsey setting up a screen. They bust up the screen. I mean, they bust up everything. Will Allen coming like a truck injury for Willis McGay. Here we have now a 54 yard field goal try Both by Todd Seavers. It's no good. 
Here's a, a tight end. And it's second down. And Krenzel's pass short of the first down marker Brindle's to Michael pass, Jenkins. Please. Jenkins going to <laughs> Throwing bullet. Pass caught. 40 yard line. First down to Chris Gamble. For their season. 13 and 0 season. Claret wiggles through. He's been close a couple of times to getting away, but they got him again with a hip pocket. <laughs> Second down and five. All up. Claret gets loose again. He just kept pounding. He bounced one way, came back the other, and he And it's third down and 12. Claret. Prenzel takes off. He's going to take some punishment here. He gets it down to the 25 yard line. And that's going to be the snapper. Boss kick! Missed it. Missed championship games so far. Down the middle. Ball thrown to Kellen Winslow. He might break this big. His legs are taken away up at the 35 yard line. He picks up a first down. Ohio State leading by three. Just missed the 42 yard field goal. A little short pass drilled again to Kellen Winslow, and that will pick up the first. Shotgun, Dorsey. A lot of time. A lot of time. Finally lets it go down the middle. It's caught by Roscoe Parrish, and the ball comes out. And Ohio State pounces on it. The beanbag is down, and the Buckeyes recover it. It's Will Allen with another big play. Donnie Nicky and Dustin Fox combined to knock this ball out of the hands of Roscoe Parrish. Fence. Shotgun. Frenzel. Keep coming. Steps away from it. Throws it. Oh! Almost picked off by the cane. Taylor. And here's the punt. Andy Groom puts some air under it, drives it back to the 25 yard line. Here comes Roscoe Parrish. Parrish getting to the sidelines, gets a block. And he's finally taken down all the way down the field at the 26 yard line. Big return by Roscoe Parrish. Pressure, hit, down, 30-yard line, Simon Frazier. Frenzy, third down, and very long. Dorsey gets it away. Underneath it goes to Jarrett Payton. And Perkins, Payton struggles inside the 25 to the 23. And has to be this time, has to be. From 40 yards. Chris Harvey snaps, Capshaw holds, but we're going to overtime. Just like a regular game, you can make a first down, and here's Dorsey throwing complete to Andre Johnson, who has been very quiet in this one for the first down. They run it, and Peyton is knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line, and that's the first down for where it's second down and goal. Dorsey throws to the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Kellen Winslow making the catch. There's a penalty flag, I thought, thrown by the back judge at the back of the end zone, but he's talking to. And he makes it. Again, if you bring pressure on Ken Dorsey, you better. In their first possession of overtime. Renzo's pass is thrown short in the ground. That was uh, wide out. We got two protectors back there for Renzo. Now one of them runs away. Claret. Renzo steps up and goes to the sidelines, and that's good for the first down. Caught by Michael Jenkins. Renzo sees a little hole. Now he slides out. Now he throws. And it's incomplete. Taylor. Claret's up there as a, as a wide out, too. The ball goes into the end zone, and it is incomplete. Intended for Gamble. Now there is a penalty flag thrown. 
Hold on. Hold the phone. Everybody comes running down on the field. You got to get off because there's a penalty flag thrown, and I think it's against Miami. And if it's thrown in the end zone, the ball will be placed on the one yard line. First and goal. Glenn Sharp trying to cover Chris Gamble, and he may have arrived a tad too soon. Randy Crystal. Yep. The legions will be diminished. Trenzo sneaking touchdown. So a kick will tie it. And we'll go around again. And Keith at center was a true freshman, Nick. 15 yard line. On its way, good. Phew, get it this time. Well, Prenzo will do it himself. And he just jumps right on the hip pocket of the center. And Bryce Bishop. Prenzo wants to pass. Now does. And has it completed. Down to the five yard line to Michael Jenkins. Yep. Second down from the five. Correct. Touchdown. Now well, Maurice Sykes couldn't do it two plays in a row. He had Claret right at the line of scrimmage and Whoa, that snap was low and hard, but the kick was good. And put up back and throws and throws the ball is caught by Hill, the fullback. And Quadrant Hill say he would be the man. Dorsey's pass. Good. They've got the first down. Down at the 10 yard line, it was Winslow, and there's a penalty flag. Dorsey throwing, tight in, missed him. Had him, Eric Winston, uh, the freshman tied in. Handed off to the fullback, Hill. And Matt Wilhelm stops him. And Kellen Winslow and Dorsey under pressure. Throws it. Incomplete. The Buckeyes win. C. Grant was the man who pressured Dorsey, and now the party begins for the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are 14 and 0. And they are the national champions of college football. And they did it their way, Keith, with deep. Jim Trestle, 18 years at Youngstown State, 15 as the head coach, four, one double A championships, 